name is Kurt Klumpner. I'm the Deputy Director of Animal Care Operations at the OWCN. Exxon Valdez was really um, the beginning of uh, oil wildlife response. During Exxon, mostly what I was doing was um, wildlife rehabilitation. Um, a lot of what I did was um, cleaning animals and waterproofing. Exxon was the first time that we really did anything with um, pre-wash examinations and, um, and thorough examinations of animals as they came in to really assess their, uh, their health and, and the impacts of the oil so far. But simply by doing that, it really changed the, um, the survivability of the animals and we found during Exxon that those animals survived much better. Because we've had organizations that are working, like OWCN, that are working between spills as opposed to just when there are spills, we've had opportunities to do research and to, um, and as uh, the next spill comes along, test some of the hypotheses or the assumptions that we made during Exxon. There was no, there was no incident command in, in those days and there was no real organization and we've become much more organized and much more able to train people for their specific jobs. It's led us down many trails in terms of improving care, um, animal care, and also certainly in terms of organizing ourselves. After that, particularly in the United States, that really formalized spill response, not just oil wildlife, but spill response and changed laws and really laid the groundwork for organizations like um, OWCN and um, provided the basis for almost everything that we do today.